It's raining in Minnesota in December. All right, my Uncle Jim's here. He brought his sweet mulcher on a skiddy, and we're gonna be mowing some trees today. Been meaning to get this project done for a little bit here, and uh, finally the day has arrived, so we're gonna be trimming some trail. I'll get you guys up to speed once we're uh, cutting stuff, but right now, we just gotta start. So I've been taking trail markers and marking all the trees around. I've got a little path going around the property. Uncle James is still going hard with the bobcat. Well, holy cow, James. So we ended up getting it stuck and it's got a whole bunch of mud on it, but Uncle James got it done with just one tank of diesel running on fumes. You're a machine man. That's what I know. All right, let's get this thing chained up and... All right, news just in. We just got a delivery of some wood. So today we're gonna be starting the decking process for the tent. These are the big boys to tighten up the loose. Okay. Yeah, see. Do you like doing this kind of stuff? Ah, uh, when it's warm. <laughs> yeah, not so much right now. Yeah. You don't like dragging wood through the woods? <laughs> this job was a lovely reminder of why I don't like doing yeah. heavy <laughs> Well, thank you for your help on this oh, one. Of course, you don't have to do it. All right, that, we've got all of the good. joist hangers in. And Drew's got all the concrete supports set. Working on just drilling in the lag bolts for it. Is that the correct term, lag bolt? It is. Yeah? Lag screw, lag bolt. Lag bolt, lag screw. Lag. Dude, this is rad. <laughs> so we had to drag all of this wood out to here. It's not a very easy task. Why we, why we had three of us. All right, we got the first top board laid. Top decking, it's exciting. All right, just got the last piece of wood laid for the top decking. We now have a deck in the middle of the woods. Next up, putting the tent on. All right, time to start bringing out our canvas wall tent. I ordered a big wall tent online. We gotta hike in about half a mile. Dragging this heavy stuff, probably weighs about 130 pounds altogether. Out to the spot where we're gonna set up camp out here for the winter. Trail turned out really nice. Obviously there's a lot of debris and stuff left but can't complain about having a nice clear-cut path for salt trees the 
good sign. Getting some ice. Shoot. All right, right off the trail, we've got this little neck of woods. They follow this little tiny game trail. You can see we've got a lot of nice rocks around here. Some big rocks, almost like a natural kind of fire pit area here. This might be a little too low to have a fire pit in, but there's lots of rocks around here where I'll be able to make a fire pit. So you can see that the land's pretty relatively flat on that side. And we'll be able to put the tent up there in hopes of it being close enough to the fire without burning it down but we got to do some clearing because a lot of growth in here still we lop down some of these trees make a tiny trail we got to run back first for the the heavy old wood stove so that's what's gonna be heat my place it's a wood stove feels good to finally be making moves on this land i've owned it for about two, two and a half years, and I've been coming out here time and time again. It's just tough to navigate when you don't have trails cut and, and you don't have cell service. It's getting later in the season, obviously it's getting colder out. A little bit worried about spooking animals that may live here, but there's no better time like the present. Pretty soon a project that you tell yourself that you're gonna start next spring turns into next summer, which turns into next fall, and then here you are. It's a vicious cycle to repeat itself, so it feels good to put words to action. You can see how much that mulcher just tore up these trees. I mean, a lot of the trees even were like this big, about six inches in diameter. Honestly, best tool for the job. Would have taken me weeks to do that same amount of clearing that took Jimbo a total of four hours in a tank of gas, so. Big thanks to him for having the equipment and giving us his time. Got all of our supports out, now we gotta assemble it all and put the canvas on top. Got all the canvas on side of the metal poles. Now you gotta cut ourselves a hole for the wood stove and secure down the outside strings so it doesn't blow over in the wind. All right, we've got the wood stove all hooked up here. A little chimney with a heat pad down so we don't burn down the floor. I also mounted all of these anchor points to the outside. So when we do get snow, it runs off 
I'm gonna chop up some firewood so we have some dry little pieces for later. If you look inside of here, oh, well, maybe those chunks will fit in there. Let's see if we can get a fire going just so I can start burning on some of the stuff I cut down that's wet. It's working. That's good. I just spent the last half hour cutting a couple down trees, get some dry firewood. All of this stuff that I cut down to clear out here is all really wet and not gonna burn very well. So it's starting to come together in here. Got a little wood pile going, got my cot set up, ready for sleep later. So the reason I picked this area for the tent was because there's, this is the only spot where there's a lot of rock around. So I'll be able to build a fire pit pretty easy. But that means that I'm gonna have to get rid of this tree and didn't want to go to waste, so. I got a little tree holder. This thing's taking up way more room than I thought I was going to. I mean, look at the branches is like hanging over half and way into my sleeping bag. They're rubbing on the wall. I'm gonna have to trim it up in a second, but first, first I wanna get all that firewood I just cut inside. All right, the sun's starting to go down outside. I also managed to hang some Christmas lights on my tree. Some ornaments. There was no uh, little ribbons to tie them on to, so I only got like five hung, but looks pretty good. Looks pretty sweet. Got lights all around. Lights all around. I'm no Clark Griswold, but it'll do. It is really weird for us to not have snow on Christmas. There's only been two Christmases since 1900 that haven't had snow on the ground here in Duluth. So it's a little different. I was just reminded that I need to make myself a little zipper pull. That's some paracord. Got big plans to cook myself a giant breakfast tomorrow. So just some chili and some bread tonight for our dinner. Hmm. It is delicious though. And it is so hot in here right now. Maybe like, it feels like it's 80 degrees right here. I'm sweating. brought some fixings. Tent turned out pretty sweet. I've been dreaming about doing this for a while. Feels nice to finally have it come together.
I don't think I've read in about mm, maybe six months. So it feels kind of good to be trapped in solitude out here and be reading. Like it's only it's only seven fifteen right now, and I can fall asleep standing up. I haven't made breakfast on this channel in a while, so I thought that this would be a perfect video to do that in. Also an honorable mention, I, uh, I slept for ten and a half hours. I feel great. I gotta say, I really wasn't expecting rain for my Christmas. It's raining in Minnesota in December. My cast irons are a little too big to cook next to another pan, so it's a slow morning this morning. That took a full hour to cook everything, just because we only had one burner. We got ourselves a couple flapjacks with some butter, giant plate of potatoes and bacon and eggs. Last thing to do is fall out of my chair, add some maple syrup. Those are some thick pancakes, them boys, them boys chunky. Oh, fat. I'm usually not like much of a breakfast person. Like I don't hardly ever take the time to make myself breakfast on a normal weekday morning. But on a lazy day, it's the perfect recipe. All right, successful first night camping. Excited to get doing on some projects inside of that uh, that hot tent and maybe even use it for some hunting videos next fall. 
Let me know if you have any ideas of things I should do with it um, or what you want to see. But as always, until next time, you're another drill. Just keep on trucking. Oh, and happy holidays.